Good day guys, Bing here. Um, about two years ago, I did a video uh, talking about um, dimensions in 3D view. And it's probably not very clear, um, so today I'm going to do another one. Okay, so let's, let's start. Uh, first, I'm going to just um, uh, create a project. So some wall, okay. So let's have a look in 3D view. So this is uh, two story high okay so just a roof on top of it and so that's that's it and yeah maybe I'll just change this level one to level two which is we don't have level two that's fine I'll just use level one plus maybe three meter okay so that's the building and then when you dimension so always the first thing is you set work plan so if if you don't set so for example if you click on this show work plan you will see your current work plan is on ground floor okay so i'll turn this off and then if you just if you just do a dimension you will see all your dimension so is on the ground floor see the dimension is on the current work plan so whichever uh, element you dimension all the dimensions on ground floor okay so how about so if you want to change the location of the dimension you need to set the work plan okay so for example if I want this dimension to be here to be here so you will need to set work plan so see this current work plan so you just need to pick a plan so in in this um, in this exercise i'm just going to pick this wall okay so you can pick a wall or a face so click here and then dimension so now you will see your dimension goes down instead of sitting um, on the ground floor uh, ground level it goes down okay and then of course you can do another dimension from here to here so see it'll go on this side if if you if you set a word plan on the level you won't be able to do it do this one so for example if i set word plan back to the ground floor and okay if i do dimension di and i try to select this edge right and then then once again if I select this edge so you will see that's zero okay so um, yeah if so for example if you want and if you need another dimension sitting here you will need to set the work plan again so this time pick this wall and a di here here and then here okay so if we do another dimension from this wall to this wall, it will go down there because the current work plan is this face. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to quickly show you another example. So I'll just do a um, curtain wall. Okay. So I'll just do a curtain wall here. So roughly here to here maybe, and then I'll just adjust edit type of this curtain wall and ch also ch change the height of this curtain wall maybe 2400 okay so and then i'll just create another curtain wall from this to here okay so what i'm going to do is uh, maybe i'll just cut away uh, this wall Hang on, let me just do it uh, just first check which if this corner so see it's in it's um it belongs to this wall so you just need to i'll quickly use the wall you can use void model in place uh, model void but you can also use wall opening so and pick this wall and draw draw a shape and then i'll just use a line to the top to this opening so now see uh, there's no wall at this corner so i'll just uh, uh, on ping change it to corner uh, maybe I just need to drag this away 
and the trim it back yeah and delete so now that's only one volume at corner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dimension this uh curtain wall okay so um so you can do it in model you can do it in model actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh create a uh assembly so let's try this let's create a, an assembly okay so select uh, select well, actually i'm going to just select everything here and go to filter and then i'll uncheck the wall uncheck the opening curtain wall uncheck the grid so only curtain panel and a curtain wall model. and okay and create this so curtain panels uh yeah that's fine okay so now if you go to here so a project project browser i'm here so that's this assembly i'm going to create a view so uncheck everything and i'm just going to check, uh, create a 3d view so now this is a 3d view assembly view so this can be used for um you know create some uh, view some um uh yeah it's quite useful so uh, this is what i always do so now let's dimension this okay so what i'm going to do is before i dimension always set work plan first okay so go to architecture set, <coughs> set work plan so for example uh, what i'm going what i need is maybe i'll have i'll just do a screenshot of this so what i'm thinking is i'm going to have a dimension here okay and a dimension here and a dimension here and uh, 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 will that be enough maybe an, an angle dimension here okay so um yeah that's it so let's do it okay so first I'm going to do it here so we just need to uh, set work plan on any any vertical face so for example this one or this one so I'll just pick this one and a DI dimension and pick this face and pick this face and now that's it so yeah also you can change the scale to roughly yeah maybe that's it so now we can create another one uh, here and we can still use the same word plan so see this is in this phase in this word plan and if we create another dimension we we'll still you can still use this one we can we can still use this word plan so di here to maybe here see it's here okay so of course if you want if you want to dimension here this way so because some people might say oh let's do it like this instead of go down let's go this way then you will need to just go set work plan pick a plan this time you just need to pick the the button you just need to tap see this face and then di same this time just go tab and pick the external face and also this face and you will see this time this dimension goes uh, horizontal if, if i rotate this view so you will see one is here the other one's horizontal uh, in the uh, flat uh, work plan okay so this this one's in the vertical work plan okay so let me just delete this one so uh, only we only need this one this one and let's do this one so same vertical we just need to pick this vertical work plan so go architecture set work plan pick plan okay and pick this one and di and pick that face and this face so that's it and then we can use the same work plan just directly dimension dimension it and you can stop here and set at the same same height okay so and also 
this I angle dimension called uh, same, we just need to set work plan. So if we want this dimension to, to be here, so you just need to set work plan, pick plan, okay, and pick the horizontal work plan here. So any face. So for example, I'll just pick this face. Okay, so DI, and this time go to Angular and pick this face, this face. See, it's, it's not sitting there. Okay. Um yeah I think that's that's it. Um so just make sure set work plan first and then dimension. Okay. If you have any question please let me know. Um I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.